Hello, it's Helen Godden here, and I'd like to introduce you to my latest pattern, Elizabeth's Lost Dress. So the story of Elizabeth's Lost Dress starts in London at Hampton Court. On display in this beautiful building is an extraordinary piece of embroidery of which the designs in this pattern are based. Turns out this piece of embroidery was an altar cloth that was found at the back of a church building stored away for hundreds of years and when they looked more closely at it they realised that it had been made from something else previously. Turns out it was made from a garment of Elizabeth I's and they worked this out because they looked at a portrait painting of Elizabeth I and there she is wearing this amazing dress with this gorgeous bodice that's all embroidered in threads and beads and that's the fabric that now appears in this altarpiece. So I thought that was just extraordinary so I decided to make a design based on Elizabeth's lost dress. So what's really different about this design is it really is a step in more of a traditional area compared to what I normally do. So you might enjoy these patterns as something a little bit different no matter what technique you choose. Now the pattern includes all nine designs and I've given you examples of different ways you could work this pattern. So for example we did it with Lumiere paint on a black background and the patterns come up beautifully of course in the stunning pearlescent and metallic um, paint colours. Uh, we also did it as I've shown in the main sample with my liquid radiance dye. Now the same effect can be achieved with the ink tense pencils and you can see I've also added some embroidery and hand stitching and slow stitching on this piece. And then in this other example, my daughter's a huge fan of the K facet fabrics. So we enlarged these blocks um, 150%. So now they were suitable for applique. Now we did fusible applique. You could certainly do turned applique if you're particularly clever. And then that's mum's handwork. Those beautiful little blanket stitches is my mum's handiwork. Can't wait to see your variations. I think this is going to be a beautiful design for those of you that do like a bit more of a traditional look in your quilting, but you still want to get the variation with your paint or your applique or your embroidery. It's going to look fantastic. So if you'd like to make your very own Elizabeth's Lost Dress, the pattern is available at HelenGodden.com and I can't wait to see all the royal quilts that we are going to make together. Education and inspiration from HelenGodden.com